Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and it's a two and a half by two and a half by two and a half inch cube, six and a half centimeters cubed. And it actually holds three jumbo tea lights stacked on top of one another. But I dare undo this bow because I'll never get it back together again. But actually, what I wanted to do specifically today was show you this designer series paper. Now, this is going to be coming out in the annual catalog in a few months time and there are totally new patterns so if I get this one so we've got a pattern there one there oh hang on <laughs> let me find where I've got four of them here we go the Calypso coral so that's one pattern and the reverse that's another pattern and that's the reverse and I like it that way around and the reason I'm showing it to you is until the end of February all people who join my team or join Stampin' Up, oh hello, hello Sorrel, who join Stampin' Up will get five different packs of this for free. So you will get the four core colours. These are the subtles, but you'll also get the regals and the neutrals and the brights. And you'll get, no, really, really, Sorrel, she's just woken up. And you will also get a packet of the in colours, one of the packs of in colours. And you get them for free when you join. So I wanted to, really, cat. <laughs> I wanted to show you and so I kept my project quite simple so that it showed off the beautiful beautiful paper right so this was basic black with highland heather and then gorgeous grape on here and I'm making a, a variation of that so you need a piece of cardstock that's 10 and a half inches by 8 inches 28 by 21 centimeters and this is basic grey not a colour I go for very often and I don't really know why so on the long side, score it at two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten inches, which in metric is six and a half, thirteen, nineteen and a half, and twenty-six. And then on the short side, score it at uh, two and a half. I've lost my measurements. Two and a half, five, and seven and a half. And again in metric. Uh, six and a half, thirteen, nineteen and a half. Right, let's get this burnished. So, yeah, at the point in time I'm filming, which is actually quite a few weeks before you're seeing this video, there's um, oh, almost 40 people who've joined my team. But I would hazard a guess that probably at this point, because we always get lots of people who um, join right at the end of celebration and yet yeah, celebration ends on the 28th of february this year right let's start at the bottom first because that's going to be the easiest so you've got four squares and a little rectangle so first thing is first get rid of the rectangle that's probably mitered a little bit on the big side that's not a problem cut straight down these okay so it's separated like that at the top let's cut down all of the straight but we need to remove some parts so i find that the easiest thing to do is to come along um, from the loose edge so you've got the this thin part here that's the tight edge this is the loose edge we want half of that square all of that square and the top half of that none of that okay so remember this is the loose edge we want half of that and just mitre a fraction. Okay, we want all of this one. Okay, remember we wanted half of this one and none of that. So I might as well just hack all of that away while I'm here. Don't forget to trim a little bit. If I bring it back round, so this was my loose edge and this was my the tight edge. Half full, half gone. And I'm going to take a little bit off there. Right, I also want to round these corners because this is going to tuck away. And so... by rounding the corner it just makes life a little easier 
Right, and then before I stick it together, I'm going to put my panels on. So I've got four squares that are two and a quarter by two and a quarter inches. Um, oh, I'm looking at the wrong. <laughs> at the wrong project instructions uh six by six centimeters and i don't know which one i fancy mm. that one i think so i'm gonna have the dots and lines i'm gonna call that the morse code side dots and dashes morse code And I'm going to have my dots and lines facing up. Okay, and then I'm going to put some adhesive down here. It doesn't want to come out. Oh, it's going to pull my tape. Where's my tearing tape? I definitely, I am coming to the conclusion that Seal Plus and Sorrel doesn't like the darker card stocks. I think it's absolutely fine with the rest. And Tear and Tape's not overly happy today either. Right, so uh, this is the back. So two sides in and the back. Bring that round and that's going to close up just nicely like that fabulous right so this was the new gorgeous grape ribbon um, and I wanted to go with the pool party because this is pool party and I haven't put my jumbo tea lights in I think I've only got one spare Let's have a look. oh I've got two from a, that's a really old project really 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 old but yeah I've got two in here and you can see the third will fit I'm not going to put them in because I need them for photos I'm going to have to destroy that beautifully tied ribbon to take photos aren't I so Sam's tying a ribbon. Everything goes silent while she concentrates. <laughs> you know what? I have watched a million videos on how to tie a Tiffany bow, how to tie a bow, all of those sorts of things. I can seriously tie a beautiful bow when it's not attached to anything. It's just when it's round something I have issue. But this is quite forgiving, this sheer ribbon. Very pretty. Right, now to finish off, as you can see, I went very plain on Hicks. This was all about the paper. So this is my little panel that is left over from cutting down my cardstock. And I've got the small bloom punch because this was actually a celebration free punch that was so popular, it made it into our annual catalogue. You know, you know it's a good project when it comes out of celebration and makes it into a into a catalogue. So, hello. She's trying to headbutt me as she walks. And she, yep, yeah, that's the tail. Thank you, that's very spiky. Tail underneath my chin. Go on, off you go. <laughs> really, a sister kitty. So I'm putting these on my spongy mat and just taking the back of my paper piercer, pushing down firmly. And it's desperate to be in the video. And I've got the pastel pearls. Now you can see the reason why I went for these because the gorgeous grape obviously matches that. But these ones, they're not silver. They are a bit more gray than silver. So I reckon they will work just nicely on there. But I do love these, they're very, very pretty. Turn them over. I'm going to get my mini glue dots, one on the back there, one there, Ooh. 
and the final one down at the bottom and this one you can hear I've got the tea lights in there so that's quite heavy but I think they're lovely nice way to show off the paper and like I say you get five packs for free I think that's something like 200 sheets of paper for free it's a lot of paper um, and I want to say it's about 45 pounds worth of paper for free brilliant anyway thank you ever so much for joining me hope to speak to you very soon bye